What up, everyone? MCI ADP Studios. Here we are, ADP Podcast Episode Two. If you listened to the first one, caught Latin and Jay on there. Appreciate that. Thanks for checking it out. So, um, still working out some kinks, and uh, the first few might suck. When you get started at something, fucking takes a learning curve, you know. So, but uh, here on podcast number two, we got my cousin. Adam Garvey, Ad Rock, they call him. Um, I want to have, on the podcast, I want to have all kinds of creators and all kinds of different people on here. But my friends, it's my fucking podcast. I'll do what I want, right? So All we hang out is with a bunch of audiophiles anyway. All, all our friends just love music. All we do is talk about music. We talk about music how people talk about sports. You know, we know all the players. We know all the games, you know, so. Right, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's a good way to look at it, you know? Fucking music is our sports, really, you know? We get fucking passionate about it and fucking have heated debates about it. That happens sometimes. That happens sometimes. <laughs> People get fucking pissed about it. I, I usually win, but I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> My opinion's better, just so you guys know, always. <laughs> always. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah, having Adam on is cool. We fucking been friends forever fucking best friends forever so it's only right to uh be at this stage and be able to just you know have one of our conversations on fucking yeah our friendship record, built know. through music we started talking about music yeah. had the same you know likes of music and then we wanted to create music together and you know of course then our friendship became stronger through music as well so that was awesome <laughs> yeah well i you know i feel like the exador productions like i'll bring that up because i feel like kind of owe that to you because that was kind of a, almost a mutual idea back in the day of like the exit door you know because that was like one of your fucking songs really yeah that then we like put it into 237 and you know shit ago. so yeah so it was i, mean, I you appreciate know. that uh, but you know just so you guys know i bit his shit i fucking stole his <laughs> shit and then and i was like yeah that's my shit right, you know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I see what you're doing here, man. I, you know, I've been out for a minute, and it's made me just realize that I need to get back in it. You know, it's my passion. I have to be doing it, and, you know, it's the best way we communicate and work together, our friendship. And it's like we can't even just hang out and just talk about regular shit. We always end up start talking about music, and then without even trying, music starts to be created. It's weird. Right, it's right. Just, yeah, it just yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, no, no, that you say that. It it's true. like it, it, we, we fight it for it not to happen, yeah, it seems yeah. like. So <laughs> it's got to happen. And it it's just, been happening for, you know, what, tw better than 20 years now. Yeah. So as you said, you know, and we just always worked off each other, you know, like I say, hey, here's an idea. Or Jay's like, I have this idea. And I'm like, add this, add this. And that's, you know, and our friendships work that way as well. Yeah. We're like, hey, man, how do I, how do we better our friendship? Ah, we do this, you know, and that's what's worked. Right, so. right. Meet in the middle on this. Let's compromise on this. Let's add this. Let's try to look past this or whatever. Yeah, that's a good perspective on that. <laughs> So I just give a little backstory too uh, for you guys that don't know. Um, we're here telling our story as well. So <clears throat> even when I first started playing guitar, my dad always played guitar. So then I started playing guitar, and then uh, because my buddy Dave Stark played guitar. So um, and then Adam picked up the bass briefly, and then Adam and I started jamming together. And I played my first show with Adam. We paid. Remember that party that you had, and Dave oh, played, and yeah. uh, the well, um, one of the Morgans. Yeah, I don't remember which it's one. Not Ross. It was Josh. Shout out to Ross. Josh. Josh Morgan. He played. Yeah, Ross is. Uh, and Dan Capilla, actually. Shout out Dan yeah. Capilla. He's yep. ser serving right now in in the Navy, if I believe. If I got that wrong, I'm sorry, Dan. But. <clears throat> Um, yeah, but anyway, so that's kind of our backstory. The real reason I started taking music serious was because of our relationship and just what we wanted to build. So shout out to Dave for telling me to put the bass down because yeah. I sucked at it and uh, just concentrated on vocals because he did say I, he gave me confidence in saying I was good at that as well as Jay backed that opinion up too yeah. so. <laughs> and thanks to he, them. He had the bass line. He had the Ozzy Osbourne bass line. Yeah. So. <laughs> 
Uh, Maybe a little saying. paranoid too on top yeah. of that. <laughs> Fucking slight, slight Iron Man. These dudes were younger than me by a few years, and they played a, a, a less amount, a lesser amount of time than I did. So it was like they just like were kicking ass in the short amount of time, and you know it just seemed. Like, I should have been at a certain place. And Dave just noticed that I was, you know, a little further on my vocal end, and that's what he just did. He said, you know, put your put your knowledge and your, your you know, your know-how here. And it changed my whole life because I've always just concentrated on vocals then, and it's been what it, what works for me. It's like breathing, so, you know, thanks to I Dave mean, that's, and you as well. That, I mean, that that's kind of something that you always want to say, like— you know, you can work on your weaknesses, but if you lean towards your strengths, you can kind of run a lot faster with that and accomplish more, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, e even if you don't recognize that at an early age, mm -hmm. like yep. that exact, like, oh, that's what that means, and you still do it, like you said, yep. like, you know, you're like, it, those are the kind of things that uh, definitely help you win in life if you can realize that, you know? So, um, yeah, does it further along the story? So we've jammed together. Uh, we've done hip hop together. We had a fucking group called Non-Existent. And uh, that was a huge part of molding fucking my beat making and uh, going all the way back. Like I was telling him, we had a mutual friend, Ben, that lived down the house or down the road from his house. And he's probably... And fucking, he had like Fruity Loops down. Studio 3, some shit like that on his computer. And we went over there and I don't remember what the fuck we were doing over there, playing Dreamcast or some shit or whatever, just hanging out in his room. And I was making beats on his FL. And then that's kind of how we started fucking rapping. And then we did that. We did a track on the... We had the fucking Task Cam 4 track. It's actually sitting right there. That bitch. Oh, shit. Dude. The, I keep it right there, so I remember. I fuck it, that's where we start. Up. That's messed up. Um, <clears throat> was that you but, and... Uh, that was you and Fathead then? Yeah, but remember that Hey Hater song that you and I did? Yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, da, da, fuck yeah. It. Hey, stop. Hey, what's, what's that, that song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. kind of ripped that, bit that off. And it wasn't like... It really sucked. I mean, shit, you know? But... uh it uh i remember doing that track but fad and i always talked about it you know we always we always talked about it we we got together and he had that natural I'm talent learning stuff too, scope, guys. Scope, i'm learning so. some of the history I, yeah well we're we're here telling our story today so yep, yep. it's kind of uh, kind of goes deep back it really digs into exador productions and and where i was molded as a musician to be mm -hmm. here you know so a lot of it is all on you motherfucker it's your fault bro yeah the fuck <laughs> That was it. so you so so then Fathead was on that track you're saying no it was, oh, just, it was just me you and you that was kind of the first thing that I actually oh, put wow. out put out I, I didn't even I know think that. me and Fathead were talking about it but like oh, there were wow. so many incarnations of like oh me and Fathead are gonna get together and do a song me and you did a song but you and I always played in the bands together so we so were always creating to fucking together, music yeah. together you know yeah, yep. And we probably had that thing sitting there because we were going to record some band shit. Remember, I brought my acoustic yeah. over in your mom's basement. And we recorded different shit. Yep, like, yep. we 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 kind of did what basically just on a different scale of what we're doing right now. Just that was not as much crazy shit and whatever, you know. But that's yeah. crazy. I didn't even know that. Yeah, dude, I I actually have that track. I have that track on my Google Play. Oh no shit! Yeah, I can play no it. For shit. You. Uh -huh. No shit. Yeah. I will play it for you later. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we ain't gonna play that in the intro or outro of this podcast, just so you know. Jerry helped us along with that, did he not? Jerry James. Oh, I was talking about. Uh, I remember coming to your mom's house and I had my acoustic guitar and oh, we recorded yeah. a oh, few no. different okay, things. Oh no, okay, I do or remember that. Yeah. I, I think I stayed the night there and we just fucking hung, hung we out there. We must have revised it then to do it beers. with Jerry. Yeah, we and we did. So yeah, we did do that too. Uh, I do shout remember out, that. Uh, Jerry James, you can actually see on the. Um, you will see fucking, uh, I did a photo shoot with him. He's on an EDP wrap-up podcast, or not a podcast, so excuse me, but one of the vlogs we did. I did a photo shoot with him recently, so you guys can check Local out Jerry James. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Does amazing but, work. But yeah, when Adam and I wanted to do a little project, he literally let us borrow his computer for fucking like two days, and we just kind of locked ourselves in the basement and fucking made like six songs. And uh, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was cool. That was, that was a fun creative experience. I I, I remember also sitting in the basement, because you guys would always make fun of me because it'd be late at night like this, 
and I'd have that, like, my nose would always be stuffed up and shit, like it is yeah. right now, because it's fucking Michigan, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I always have that, like, spray and shit, and the, you guys would always make fun of me for having the, like, he, Fathead called it four away, but it was, like, Afrin or something, but that's when we, like, fucking recorded all of the uh, first non shit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. so. I don't remember ever making fun of you, dude. I don't think that ever happened. Oh, man. Yeah, this fucking, <laughs> let's not that, have that on camera. Yeah, dude, I I remember that in the basement. You you were adding to the beat with that, uh, trying to layer the tracks with the um with your guitar, with that acoustic guitar. Oh, I do. Yep. It's all coming back to me now. Yep. yep. I can't even remember like. Uh, yeah. What, the what, what exactly? Four track. <laughs> yeah. That right bitch right there. That's crazy. Shitty thing is, I don't have the fucking. I let Addison borrow it and. Uh, he gave it back, but he didn't give me the power cord, so I got to order one. Huh. But I have all the tapes. Remember the tapes me and Brett did, like the five cent tapes. Yep. I have all those tapes and shit. Like, oh, dude, I right got over that. there. Yeah, you I have got all that those old those. acoustic stuff. Hey, you mind if we talk about it? <laughs> you got that acoustic stuff we did a long time ago. I might, dude. I have a whole fucking box full of tapes. Dang man, we got to just sit and I, chill sometime. So, um. Fast forward a little bit, you know, so we've done some hip hop things or whatever. We kind of fucking rambled and reminisced there for a second. But, uh, yeah, still going on with the, the music history between us. Um, we did some hip hop shit or whatever, but we've always played in bands. We played in band Room 237 and that kind of molded us in a certain way. Um, then Adam joined a band uh, called In Rapture, kind of long story short, between mm -hmm. the bands in between. But yep. In Rapture, and then I started recording those guys, and Adam... Played Eklund. in Rapture, Adam mm -hmm. Eklund. And Adam Eklund now is an it. infinite design. And actually me, Adam, and Adam Eklund yep. started fucking infinite, infinite design. design, which I'm still playing into As to well. this day. So yep. so it's uh <clears throat> it's it's been a crazy long journey, but mm -hmm. um as far as uh, Infinite Design, fucking remember all those shows that we did? Dude, amazing. Oh, yeah, I think back, we had a lot of good times at Cuties. That's where we met the, um, you know, the King Crab Apple they are now. They were, uh, we played with those guys back then. Yeah, we talked about that today, yeah. too, yeah. See, um, we pl played in a tech death band, but we always played with all different kinds of bands back then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's uh, just the Muskegon scene, though. It's like musicians just, you know, we just vibe together. We right. don't care. Yeah. We don't, we don't even think about it. But then, we, again, we just jump genres, too, because we record different genres. We want to make all different kinds of music, so it works out that way. If you're playing in a certain genre, that's just probably what's working out for you at the time. You know, it don't necessarily mean that you're, we talked about that earlier, that don't mean that you're a metal musician. You just are doing metal at the time, right? You know? Right. Yeah. When people say shit like, uh, "Oh, do you like this?" But it's not metal. Like that's the only thing. I mean, you know, shit. I think we're all fucking have stuff that we love that's not metal. Most metal heads probably do. You know, both of us have probably uh, created more uh, hip hop albums than we have metal albums. You know what I mean? Right. Like when I think of it at my. Uh, discography i think that it's probably more hip-hop albums than i have put out metal albums i mean it's a little harder to put out metal albums because you got to have more people vibing together playing live instruments it's a little harder right. to get get together excuse me ladies and gentlemen i'm trying to fucking fix this a little thing. more of a task and hip-hop's kind of easier it's not it's not easier it's just you can do it more on your own and control stuff with less people yeah, yeah, definitely. Sorry, dude, I wasn't trying to nope, fucking... You're good, that camera was kind of fucked up and it had like the mic right in your face, but... Definitely. Um, yeah, I, I, I get that. I totally understand that as far as um, being able to con also be creative control because it's hard when you got five motherfuckers and you're like, oh, yeah. you know, uh, getting schedules right. Yes. That fucking sucks. Oh, hey, what are you doing on Tuesday? Because people don't understand, man, and that's one thing when it comes to like the metal and the translation to hip hop... Like, fucking, you sit there and practice in a metal band, in a rock band, when you go out and perform live. Yeah. So when you got that fucking heightened advantage and then you turn to hip-hop, you treat it as the same way. Like, we got to get together every fucking Tuesday and practice you and make to. sure the shit is tight. And what, a, you know, nowadays, like, what 
the focus should be for a fucking musician is, hey, we got to get together on Tuesday and Thursday this week. Tuesday, we can work on some shit, create content and fucking work on music. And Thursday, we got to be figuring out how to build fans for our fucking music and market Absolutely, our shit. Absolutely, yeah. You know what I mean? Back in our day, we, it was, we didn't have the internet and all the power of all that shit. And we didn't all. even think about like, hey, building a fan base is the fucking lifeblood of any musician or any creator for that matter. We just try to make the biggest stack of flyers we could and just drop them as many places as we could yeah that was all we did and, and there wasn't any shows and we were hoping you know we didn't even have a fucking target market we didn't know we just hoped the metal head that came out of plums would fucking listen yeah. to our band that <laughs> yeah, was a lot of wasted yeah. energy if you think about a it lot of, yes. a lot of fucking cars got flyered and they seen our name but they would never come to our show no, we, or if they did they'd be like what the fuck yeah. are these dudes doing yeah you know? There's a lot of times it was just a bunch of like 10 kids, you know, and then there'd be like 50, you know, three bands. So there'd be like 15 band members and 10 kids you yeah. know, <laughs> at the show. I mean, yeah, I'm sure there were good times. Shows. Don't yeah. get me wrong. And learning experiences and, and extra practice. <laughs> yeah. Extra practice. You know, I made a lot of good friends back then that I still hold to this day. I'm lucky to have too. That's awesome too. Yeah. I mean, that's the great thing about uh, creating stuff with people, even if it's, you know, not necessarily you created the music with them, people in the other bands, but you created a fucking relationship with them because you have a lot in common when you're both pursuing your music as, or displaying your art because it takes yeah. a lot to do that so you're Absolutely. automatically inclined to fucking have a better relationship with somebody you know yep. i mean there's dickhead musicians but there's dickheads oh, to everybody you know what i mean I'm so you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah fucking but um yeah so that's kind of like our fucking history you got anything to add to that is there anything that no I man mean, uh let me think about it <laughs> no uh, no okay so uh, let me ask you this bro uh it, with that being said so we, <laughs> Ad Rock kind of said something alluded to the fact. So you said it's in your blood, it's in your passion. So he said he was kind of out for a while. So why don't you just explain that a little bit? You don't have to go yeah. into detail on personal shit, but just yeah, as far I, as the music shit goes, dealing you know, with what is, you know, what is like it, life shit, depression that, you know, I, I didn't never want to talk about before, but after talking to friends, you know, and stuff like that, I, I realized that maybe talking about it, getting it out there, it'd be a little bit better than hanging with the homie Jay. Of course, he's like, hey, bro, you know, st we're talking about music. And of course, we started talking a little more. It's like, maybe. Maybe I should be doing music to be able to open up because that's what I've been doing. That's what I do. You know, that's what I feel is part of me. So I guess what I'm saying is I'm doing music now. I'm about to do an album with Jay. I don't know how much further it's going to go from there. I just know that we're going to make music together. Pretty happy about that. And that'll be a life changing thing for me. Well, if, if that makes any sense. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that's great. And you just fucking put it on video, so when this bitch comes out, it's yeah, gonna be you know. saying that you're yeah, fucking doing, doing music. So now you're gonna I'm have gonna to stick it. to it. Yeah, yeah now, now I have to do it for real. Yeah. But also, yeah, like, I mean, you this, know, like the depression thing too. Like uh, I've been talking to a lot of musicians, you know, because that's all our friends are, as I said, yeah. and they're like, you know, we have to talk about this shit. We're all struggling with this shit. We gotta talk. We gotta, you know, we gotta get this shit out. We need you, Ad Rock, and I'm like, I need you, Mo. You right. know, I can't imagine this not being without you. So yeah, there's that, and I'm about to put that on an album too, and I'm gonna get your help putting that on an album and making it real and getting it out there. And I think it's gonna be an awesome thing because after what you've been showing me and I've been watching from you know afar what you've been doing here, and I'm like, man, I gotta be a part of that. I don't care how I do it, I gotta be a part of it because I want to see you shine and I see you shining. And I'm like, man, I don't know. Just let me know, Jay. Hit me up, whatever I can do. I, you know, I told you that, dude. I'll carry an amp, whatever. But, you know, and then you're like, well, why don't you make music, too? Because you do that, and I have this access. I'm like, all right, let's get this shit done. Right. Let's I, do like we used to do, I guess. Yeah, well, let me just say this right off fucking rip. Let me say this. Uh, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Yeah. So I love you, brother. I love you too, man. You know, and uh, every journey's everybody's journey is different. Uh, you know, it all takes time, but life is still long. It may seem short at times, but like fucking, if you learn to kind of live in the moment and fucking, you got some good shit you're working for and you're passionate about. You know, because music does bring people together, and sometimes maybe if you you know you go and. I understand the depression and things like that because that's almost an isolating experience, right? It is, yeah, yeah. And music's one of those things where it's like, unless you kind of have what I have, which not everybody has, no, no. 
I do spend a lot of time alone. But not everybody has that in order to express. Uh, pe people need uh, other people's help and shit too, like creating music or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, and so, right. like, if you're in an isolating, you know, situation or you know, or, or depression or something like that, it is hard to fucking want to go out or be creative or or find the things that you're really passionate about. But yeah, we do have to talk about those things, bro. Right? You know, right. we got to do. You and know, if you allow the depression to beat you down and tell you the opposite like well no you don't need that or you know push that away or you're not good enough for that but the the messed up part about it is it's that's one of the most confident things i've ever been you know about in my life is because i know how hard we've worked at it so i can't deny the work we put into it so i feel confident about that i feel right. you know i feel yeah. negative about a lot of other points in my life but i'm always like music i'm like no i did pretty good at music i can't deny that i didn't i can't deny what we've ever done together because i'm always like you or any of my other friends that I've made music with, I look back at it, maybe there was a drama involved, and I'm like, well, I overlooked that drama because the art we made was actually pretty damn good. Right, yeah, you know, so. yeah for sure. Yeah, that's a good way to <clears> and it's all, it. And so it makes it, brings me back to the positive, you know. Well, and music does that for me. So, you know, and just to kind of tie this together a little bit and hopefully bring some value, like I always, I always kind of look at it like this. So there's like a teeter totter, right? With like depression or anxiety or whatever, right? Yeah. So like most of the things in day to day fucking life just pile on you fucking this bill, this worry, this thing. There's always problems. You know, life is just a series of problems. That's how you deal with it and figure it out. But like then you can have negativity, social media, fucking Johnny four five calling you a dick fuck because you don't agree on the fucking thing or you put Politics, something on the fuck uh, else, yeah, everything yep. else that most people Worldly don't have, have no fucking business talking about anyway online because they're too fucking stupid to even know. Yes. But anyway, all this negativity on one side so dude all the fucking time this thing is just constantly like this right and yes. this is like your fucking psyche your mental fucking and it's just constantly like this so in order to get the balance you have to be putting good shit in reading good books fucking doing good things and like for me one of the biggest things that helps wave that back out is being able to express myself through music so it fucking helps balance all that bullshit out because then i can Sometimes I will fucking work just to kind of avoid the bullshit. Like, yeah. oh, I can focus on something else and shut everything else out. Yes. You know, I'm not going to sit there and say it's not a fucking coping I feel thing. That, brother. I feel but, that. but it, but you see what I'm saying, man. I see so, 100%. so it's like garbage in, garbage out. Yep. What you eat fucking is the result of your body. Same thing with your mental diet. Yes. Yep. You know what I mean? So yeah. if you're consuming all this negativity and fighting on Facebook and consuming your time doing all this shit that really doesn't benefit you creatively or passionately or really feeding your soul, like what are you and doing I to feed your soul? all that stuff. I yeah. did. I, I, was, I, I was too involved in thinking about I knew what was going on in the world and the politics and I thought I was going to change Joe Blow's mind and I was fighting with him online and I was arguing with so-and-so at home and I wasn't reading the positive books I used to read yeah. and I was was not out letting and bringing, letting anything out through music, which I can, because when I say something in music, another thing, and this is odd, but I can say something in music that I, you know, and whoever I love, I try to say to them, but they try to combat it. I can say it through music and nobody combats what I say. You know what I mean? I can be like, fuck this or fuck that. And nobody oh, goes, yeah. you know, well, yeah. no, no, don't say that. Cause yeah. I can say it and nobody judges me. Music never judges me and right. it makes me yeah, feel good true. about myself. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and it never leaves you neither. I mean, that's one of those things, like, no matter what, you, your mood, your time, your whatever, like, you can always turn to it. And that's you know, why I got our old tracks, like, on Google Play, because then I can listen to the old tracks. You know, we used to spit with Fathead and KP, and, and it brings me back to those good times and those positive times. And, like, man, I remember that. Those were good times, you know. So. That, that's I love that about music where you can throw on a track. And yeah. then it just takes you to that time in your life, you know. Oh, I, mean? I remember the fucking uh, back when we used to hang out a lot at your mom's house. The <laughs> yeah. six feet under fucking war path, oh, bro. Yeah. And the fucking four twenty. <laughs> it's war, war. Yeah. The fucking sometimes yeah, I that, listen to that, just, about that, that shit just like that fucking particular. And Ben time doing here. the prong the, dance, yeah, prong dance, yeah. and yeah, shout dude, out. I brought that out to him one day, and he said he didn't know what I was talking about. I thought that dude was goofy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker. The prong man. dance. This motherfucker, man. He do a prong dance. He tried to say, yeah, well. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Super cool. 
Um, so yeah. that's kind of how that relates. And, I'm, you know, I hope we brought some fucking value and you guys, uh, you know, we're having a good time fucking spitting some shit and uh, sharing some knowledge with you guys. Um, a so. good time. We like to hang out and just talk about music and positive things and, like, you know, try right. to make sure that we're helping each other be positive in each other's life. And yeah, yeah, for sure. We've man. had a lot of time together and know that, you know, we don't want to do anything negative to bring each other down. So, yeah, th we hope that that's going through the whole, you know, city of Muskegon as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and our yeah. other musician friends. Yeah, and, you you know, we can only focus on us. So I guess what what's what we think we're doing right and, you know, how we're creating and shit like that. So, um <clears throat> Yeah, so that that kind of brings us to today. So we did, you know, the Infinite Design and, and shit like that. Um, I had a bunch of those DVDs of the Infinite Design early days, and I don't know where the fuck they are. I looked everywhere. It's disappointing because I was going to put them all on YouTube and just give you guys the private links so you guys could watch all the shit that you wanted to. But oh, wow. I can't fucking find them. I don't know where they're at. Fucking Fathead did a bunch of them for us and all that shit. But yeah, so we'll be putting out some fucking hip hop projects. Yeah, you definitely. Know, a couple of projects. Actually, he listened to some beats today, and we fucking vibed on a couple of things. And uh, a bunch probably, of dope you know, trap beats Jay got going. Show me some old school boot bap shit. Made me think about old school. How I was gonna write some new rhymes in a different way. Made me rethink how I should uh, be looking at uh, the metronome and how I'm writing my rhymes as well. You know, even at 40 years and probably writing, you know, over, a, what, 10 to 15 years of, you think, writing rhymes now? Still trying to think of a new way and, you know, freshen my style up. And yeah. Jay, Jay helps me with that, too. Yeah, well. So what you, we talked about something earlier, man, and this is one thing that, you know. like, And, I, and if you guys don't know, Jay's a producer. He's a musician. He writes rhymes. He writes metal music. You know, he, he's into technical music. So he sees music from all aspects. Like, so he can help anybody. That's why he's got the studio. He does production. And I'm saying that so you know, like, if you're like, hey, I have music and I don't know what to do with it. And you come to him and he can probably help you get it onto a platform, you know, but you got to listen to the dude because he's a producer and that's what you do in the music industry when the producer comes to you they say something and you do it because that's what producers do right <laughs> <laughs> it took me a long time to learn that but i learned it yeah yeah and if you listen to any real musician they'll tell you the same thing they'll be like hey there's a guy in our band he's the producer and people are like how do you listen to the guy in your band doesn't that bother you he's your friend and he's like well he's a producer so we do what he says he's the boss applesauce right and that's right. how you do it right because they know what they're doing you trust them and, and that's <laughs> and that's kind of one thing even i've had to step into that role too and be like you know i i, I have to step in and, and say listen and that's why i like developing a good working relationship with people and that's yes. why it's cool to like especially work with people i've worked with for a long time because when we start working again it's going to be a little different than before we're going to we're going to spend a little more time on critique because we you know cool. other shit comes easy but Besides that, He's like I've, I've, had, I've had to fucking step into that role too, you know, and and be like, yeah, I am the producer, but I want to work on this song and make it the best song we can fucking make yes. it. Yeah, you wrote the shit. It's probably my beat most time. If you work with me, I, I want to be that. It, it's got to be part of me, or else I'm not feeling nobody right. else's YouTube beats. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. So uh, and then just to backtrack a little bit on that, even with the rap and stuff, and that's like. So I put out the MCI fucking that one record, and that was in 2017. And I've been wanting to do some flows it's on and Spotify. shit. I've only wanted to do some, you know, rapping and shit. And uh, I know it's never too late, but I like helping other people get their shit out there. But what I what I was saying though is the consistency. So if you take a long period of time off and not doing something, you got to kind of really brush up your chops to be able yes. to get back to where you were, Absolutely. and then be able to step forward and be like, yeah, I want to try some other shit. But the mm -hmm. nice thing is, is stepping back into it. If you're like, I'm looking at some tracks some different ways and looking at some things some different ways, yeah. you always get this fresh perspective on a fucking old thing that you kind of had in your pocket and you might be able to develop some new good habits that maybe you didn't have before yeah. or whatever you know because i would have came in here already just you know the first day and just been like give me all trap beats and not thinking about bpms or whatever and you already taught me something new today you know you know but i could have been like because i'm sure there's some people out there like i want this i don't care what anybody says but you got to be learnable you know right i learned yeah, something yeah. today yeah it was a valuable yeah. it was a value so 
Well, you know, and that's you know, that's that's why I'm hoping to do this. You know, this podcast translates or whatever. You know, hopefully people can learn shit from it, or you know, learn from my mistakes or learn from our story or yes. whatever. You know, so yep. um, that's evolution, brother. And 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 that's the thing is like, uh, I, as I've gotten older, I've realized that not everything is this instant gratification where it's like I picked up my guitar and be good as fuck and then like you know two months later I'm gonna be on tour and doing all this shit it's like shit like you gotta look at things from two to five year windows like it's yeah. like hey if I'm gonna approach a project I gotta really see what I'm gonna be fucking rapping like in two solid years of consistent fucking practice because I'm going to be that much better as long as I stay consistent mm. you know that's kind of why I said my beats change and shit like that but I've actually been consistent constantly making it yes. and changing it and getting better but that's the way you got to approach anything you right. know fucking work and then you even asked whatever, me he you know? came in here today he's like let's listen to some beats and i'm listening to his beats and he's like you know i want you to critique him and i'm and i had to be honest because i'm like i've been out of the game for a minute and i can't critique because i'm not hearing it with the ear that you have when you've been you know you've been doing this for a while so i was like it just all sounds fucking awesome to me dude so <laughs> be well, later on when you're showing me you know different stuff oh this is good and this is bad and then when i learned from you you, then I can say, well, that's not what we want to do because that's not what Jay's looking for and that's not what EDP is about. So, right, yeah, that makes sense completely. Definitely, yeah, yeah. It's just that uh, consistency and staying consistent. Just like this podcast. I mean, shit. This is my second uh, episode. You know, I had fucking Latin Jay on the first one. Uh, shout out Latin Jay, but uh, I had him on the first one, and this is the second one. And I got to get everything fucking all situated, but I want to just keep putting them out. I don't give a fuck. One person sees it, two person people see it. Hell yeah! They chop it up, fucking put out little pieces of content. You know, whatever, whatever. It's just fucking put shit out there and getting EDP out there and getting our shit out there. This the is Michigan stuff we history. Do, though, yeah, yeah, the, this yeah. This is Michigan yeah, history. Yeah, that is, I know that know, we don't think of Michigan, it that way a lot, you know, yeah. but it is. We know a lot of people. We've been be doing a lot in the scene, you know. We've we've brought up the scene. We've helped bring up the scene. And a lot of our friends have brought up the scene, too, yeah. you know. So yeah, for sure. It That's would a good be way irresponsible to not to say that this is not history we're talking about and our friends. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Yeah, so man, we uh come out with a project, uh really no 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 timetable or anything uh, like that, but like uh fucking we could probably wrap this thing up though, man. That was fucking cool. That was fun. Dude. Yeah, uh, I had a blast. Dude. Um yeah, we'll have you on again. Uh fucking we'll talk more once you know your project gets going around and we got some more stuff to fucking you know uh kind of ramble about. I actually, you know, I I I probably have Ad Rock on here some more because we could we could do whole fucking sessions about just fucking metal albums and fucking metal Easy. reviews and we can do all kinds of shit. So I, I just plan on putting all kinds of music shit out and sharing what I'm passionate about with EDP and fucking of course Ad Rock's gonna be around so we can do episodes of just fucking metal stuff. If there's shit you guys want to hear or stuff you guys want to talk about, fucking chime in, whatever. Hit us up, comment, fucking, you know, like, share, subscribe, all that shit. Check that out, you know, exitdoorproductions.com. Um, anything else you want to say, bro? We go into the just holidays, love, fucking uh, just got done, love. fucking eating a bunch of Twizzlers because it was just Halloween. And, uh, yeah, I had a fucking one around here. Oh, I got, I think, Twizzler. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so with that being said, uh, yeah, appreciate cool, you yeah. guys and uh, talk to you guys later. Much love. Peace.